Tonight, San Diego County is back in the CDC's high COVID activity level, just as two of the biggest events of the year are set to kick off. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. I'm Jesse Pagan. New cases are up 15% nationwide over the past week, and according to the CDC, 65% of those new cases are from the more contagious BA5 variant. While we don't know what that percentage is here just yet, cases are going up in San Diego County. In tonight's update, County Health reported nearly 2,200 new cases. Now remember, that number doesn't include home tests that aren't even reported. Right now, there are close to 400 people in the hospital with COVID-19 related illnesses here in the county. 43 of those people are in intensive care. This is the most that we've seen since early March. This increase in COVID numbers comes just days before the San Diego Pride Parade and Festival this weekend, as well as Comic-Con, which begins a week from today. CBS 8's Richard Allen has more on how this could impact these massive in-person events and what health experts are saying tonight for people planning to head out and celebrate. Well, that's right. Here in San Diego County, even with rising COVID numbers, the county's not made any moves to reinstate a mask mandate. Now, that's not the case in Los Angeles County, where COVID levels are also high. There, a mask mandate could return as early as July 29th. At this San Diego Pride block party held in the heart of Hillcrest Thursday, nearly no one was wearing a face covering. Most people aren't masking. And many folks planning on heading out to the parade and festival this weekend, like Joe Mayer, say they don't plan to either. Some of us, you know, got boosted twice, so we're feeling maybe, you know, shouldn't feel confident, but we are. Although a few do believe masking is still essential. You never know where people have been, and you're going to run into a lot of people. I think at, at the end of the day, it's just thinking about yourself and protecting yourself, and as well the people around you and the people you care about. So I think it's really important. So the numbers are absolutely going up. Dr. Gazala Sharif is chief medical officer for acute care operations at Scripps Health. She says that along with COVID cases, they're also seeing larger than usual numbers of non-COVID related patients as well. So our emergency departments are literally busting at the scenes just across the region. She anticipates a surge in COVID cases resulting in the weeks following events like Pride, especially with the rise of highly infectious subvariants like BA5. If you're in a, in a big crowd, People have said, oh, you're outside, it's okay. It may not be okay right now with considering how infectious this is. So if you're in close proximity with a lot of people, it's, it's wise to wear your mask. Dr. Sharif also urges anyone who feels sick, even if they test negative for COVID, to stay home. You are running the risk of infecting other people just because you want to be there and you don't want to miss out. In a statement, San Diego Pride said, quote, new public health guidance is not shutting down this weekend's Padres games, over the line, or any other major event in the region. San Diego Pride's largest events, the Pride Parade in the heart of Hillcrest and two-day festival in beautiful Balboa Park take place outdoors. We hope San Diegans and our visitors enjoy what this region has to offer in ways that feel safe and healthy to them. And of course, after Pride, Comic-Con heads to San Diego, and that is primarily indoors. Its organizers say that masks will be required whether you're vaccinated or not.